In Jesus' mighty name we are praying. In Jesus' mighty name we are praying. Father, we are here again. Baba, we don't come again. No. We thank you for all that you've done for us in the past. Thank you for the thing you do for our life before. Thank you for the salvation of our souls. We thank you for saving our soul. No. Thank you for keeping us in your love. Thank you because you can't keep us inside your love. Thank you for the wonderful message we have heard tonight. Thank you for all the message we will hear this night. Thank you for the beautiful singing. Thank you for all the people when we say the last thing, sweet, sweet song. Thank you that we can come into your presence and worship you. Thank you. Say, we we come your presence, come worship you. Accept our worship, our praises, our thanksgiving in Jesus' name. Then you can accept our thanksgiving, our praises, and our worship in Jesus' name. Father, tonight, Papa, this night, oh, do something special in our lives. Then you can do something when better one for our lives. So that our lives will never be the same again. So our life will resemble what it did before. And at the end of everything, Lord, for the end of everything, let all of us be glad that we came. Make all of us come happy where we say we come. And let your name be glorified. Make your name come there glorified. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. In Jesus' mighty name, we will have prayed. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. It's good to see you again, brethren. It is good, sir. I can't see you now again, my brother and my sister. I. I can see that in spite of the cold. I can see say on the mind say cold there around though. London seems to be a better place to live in. London is a good place where person is supposed to stay. Because your faces are radiant. Because my face they shine. I think maybe the cold has something to do with that too. I believe say this cold when they catch person, then they make on our face they shine. Tonight I want to talk to you. I hope it will be briefly. This night, I won't talk to you now. I believe so I will do a sharp sharp. On servants upon horses. Say servants, come and ride on us. Servants upon horses. Servants, when they ride on us. Ecclesiastes chapter 10. From verse 5 to 7. Ecclesiastes chapter 10. From verse 5, go reach verse 7. Ecclesiastes 10, verse 5 to 7. Ecclesiastes 10, from verse 5, go reach 7. There is an evil which I have seen under the sun. He gave one bad thing when I lost see under the sun. As an error which proceeded from the ruler. When be wrong to when they come out for people when they rule. Holy is set in great dignity. People when be full, they are not put them for a better and better place. And the rich sit in low place. And people when rich, not grand, not button, button, they can't put them. I have seen servants upon horses. I don't see servants when they ride on us. And princes walking as servants upon the earth. And people when they say be king, be king, they come to walk up or ground, they, they trek like servants for this earth. If we look into the word of God, we find that if there's any man that we could consider really wise in the Old Testament, Solomon was one. If we go look God word well well, I will come to think of person when we say wise, when get sense well well, the person will go come inside our mind now, uh, Solomon. And he has a way of setting forth great truths in very simple forms. In a get way, they bring truth out from a particular matter. And here, like he said again and again in several other places, he tried to show us that it is not proper. Like he assures us from many, many places, he can't tell us, say, he's not that good, though. For a servant to have rule or dominion over a prince. For a servant, make it can't be ogre over king Peking. I mean, Proverbs 19, verse 10. For Proverbs 19, verse 10. He says, it's, not, it's definitely not pro pro proper for a servant. To have rule over princes. Is he not good at all at all for servants? Make the country be your guy over king picking. In Proverbs chapter 30, verses 21 to 23. For Proverbs chapter 30, verse 21, verse 23. He says it's very disturbing. He said it is some person, no. In fact, he said it is unbearably disturbing. He said that when he said the some person man, when person of the For a servant to reign over a prince. For a servant may be saying that he can be ruler over King Peking. Now the Bible tells us in Revelation chapter 1. 
from verse 4 to 6. The Bible can tell us from Revelation chapter 1, verse 4, go read 6. Revelation 1, 4 to 6. Revelation chapter 1, verse 4, go read 6. He said, The Lord Jesus Christ had made us kings and priests. He said, God, oh, don't make every one of us Christian king and prince. To his father, the Almighty God. So, your own father, the Almighty God. In other words, he come and say, If you are truly a child of God, it will be better Christian. You are either a king or a queen. You be either king or you be queen. So, when we talk about a servant having rule over princes and princesses. Oh God to say servants they rule over king picking when be boy or when be girl. Maybe God might be talking to somebody here tonight. I believe say God will talk to one person for here this night. As a matter of fact, I want you to tell your neighbor, I suspect this message might be for you. I want me to like, tell your neighbor, say, I believe say this message when you would hear oh, that you God will talk to. <laughs> In other words, don't worry, the pastor is not likely talking to me, but maybe he's talking to you, I suspect. I'm not worried. The pastor not be me they talk to. I believe it's not you they talk to. <laughs> In First Peter chapter 2, verse 9. For First Peter chapter 2, verse 9. First Peter chapter 2, verse 9. The Bible made it clear that. First Peter 2, verse 9. The Bible talks say. We are royalty. Say we. That is a king family life for bonus. Provided, of course, that Jesus Christ is your king. So far, oh, Jesus Christ not be your king. If he is your king, then you are a king or a queen. If Jesus Christ not your king, it can't mean say you not king or you be queen. In Revelation 19 verse 16. For Revelation chapter 19 verse 16. Revelation 19 verse 16. Revelation chapter 19 verse 16. The Bible calls him the king of kings. The Bible call call and say I be the king of all kings. So if you are one of his own if you be one of Jesus Christ the king. You are a king and he is your king. He be your king and you be king. But the question now is why would a prince trek while his servants are riding. The question of be say, why be say king go call the trek and the king's servants go call the ride on us? How come that you have suddenly a prince trekking when a servant is riding on a horse? How come be say king on the trek and the king's servant like on the ride on us? There could be several reasons. Many, many reasons they one of the reasons may be that the prince doesn't know who he is. One of them be said, the king picking fee no no say in the king picking. I mean if the prince doesn't know that he's a prince. If the king picking no can no say in a prince. Maybe he thinks that he's somebody lower than his servant. He can't say he stand a very low than that of the servant. Then it will be okay for the servant to ride while the prince is trekking. You can't be okay for the king picking to the trek and the servant to ride on us. And the word of God says in Hosea chapter 4 verse 6 The word of God can't talk for Hosea chapter 4 verse 6. He said my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. My people they, they, they destroy them all because they don't understand what they happen. And in John chapter 8 verse 32 the Bible says For John chapter 8 verse 32 the Bible does say you shall know the truth and the truth Shall make you free. Say you go know the way to be the truth. And this truth, when you know, now you can't set you free. I pray that God will show the truth to us tonight. I can't pray. Say, may God show us the truth this night. I mean, for example, there are many of us who do not know the truth about prosperity. Many of us when they we don't really know what it really means for someone to get money, get better, better things all around them. For years. Men of God lived in poverty. For many years, um, many of men of God don't they live poor life. Because nobody told us that there is any passage like Second Corinthians chapter eight verse nine. Because nobody can tell them say what passage will like for Second Corinthians chapter twelve verse nine. Day so Jesus became poor in order that we might become rich. Say Jesus Christ so now himself come dead poor so that we ourselves will come rich, we will get money where we are. Many of us up to today, we are being ridden by poverty. Many of us now poverty they ride on us like us. Poverty is riding, we are trekking. Poverty that they ride, we ourselves will they trek. But I believe that by the time we finish tonight, there will be a change of place. I believe that before we finish this night, oh, things go change for better. And 
Many of us, for example, did not know that God expects us to live in divine health. Many of us don't know say God will give us that kakaraka, but when we say sickness, we go fear enter when come from heaven. In third John verse two. For third John two. It's only recently that many of us began to understand that God says in His word that He wishes above all things that we'll prosper and be in health, even as our souls. Prosper. In order to tell what God no say, God Himself, oh, He say He want us. Maybe say it is better for us. We can't get a car body, even as our soul, it can't be better. It took some time before it sank into the hearts of some of us that we could live in divine health. It can't take me long time before many of us can understand. Say, is it possible for us to live kakaka body without sickness when come from heaven? Some of us today still don't believe we could live in divine health. Many of us don't know say is it possible for us to live that kakaka body without sickness when come from heaven. We think that once winter comes in, we should get ready for flu. We see say when the season when they call winter come, the next thing will call happen to us. Our nose go the wrong catar. So we begin to get certain things ready because we know winter is coming, flu is coming. We can arrange ourselves because winter they come or catar they come. Whereas the word of God says whether winter or summer. You have to be bouncing like football. God will not tell us, say, eh, whether winter come oh, or summer come, we're supposed to be bounce like football. Uh, I know the amen to that won't be too loud. I know say the amen to this one, you know, go loud, well, well. Because some of us still don't believe it. Because many of us oh, will not believe this talk. Up to now, many of us don't believe in divine healing. Many of us not believe, say, God's for heal person. Oh, yes, we quote once in a while that by his stripes we were healed. Many of us, they quote the Bible, say, by the, the lash, the king when the Lord came, Jesus Christ, so we don't heal. <laughs> but we think that that is supposed to be theory. We believe, say, now only book work can be that one. Just like someone said, some of these things in the Bible, they are for the by and by. Like the way one person can talk, say, this thing went there for Bible and for all days. Not for today. Not be for this our our time. People don't believe that it is possible for you to live for more than 10 years without swallowing a tablet. Many people not believe, say, it's impossible may you live more than 10 years without you not can swallow one small pad at all. But glory be to God, there are some of us who learned the truth a long time ago. But thank God, there are many of us who don't study this thing for a long, long time ago. And I can stand here to the glory of the Almighty God and say, for more than 22 years, I have had only one doctor. I go this can't stand here, can't tell him I say he got past twenty-two years old. Now the one doctor I get, and his name is Jesus. And the name of this doctor, now Doctor Jesus. I know that is still a bit difficult for you people in London to swallow, but that's all right. I no say no day is if I don't know when day London we could like all agree. Well, it is okay. Oh. After all, there are doctors here, and hospitals, and drugs, and... After all, doctors there, yo, as good, good hospital there, yeah. Better, better medicine also there, this place. But <laughs> if you come back home... But even I can't come back to home. And you get to the hospital and you don't find doctors. When you can't reach hospital, you're not going to see doctor. Where you find doctors, there are no drugs. When you can't reach, go see doctor, you're not going to see medicine. When there are drugs, you don't have the money to buy. When you can't see medicine, no, no money to buy them. <laughs> I think you will discover who you are first. <laughs> I believe so, now. I can't know you'll be sharp, sharp. It takes some time before many of us realize that Luke chapter 1 verse 37 It can't take long time for us to understand say for Luke chapter 1 verse 27 That says with God all things are possible or with God nothing shall be impossible When God does it, when God day inside the matter everything will work out That, that could be true That will feel be true But you see many of us don't believe that until we are driven to the wall Many of us don't understand this thing until Problem don't push us, go jam on. Until there's no other way out, then suddenly we begin to realize that if we are true children of God, we should be able to get all kinds of miracles. One can find us in no place where we will feel escape. You can't enter our head and say, ah, with God, though, every better, better miracle when I need, I feel get them. So, it, the reason why 
Sickness may be riding on princes and princesses. The reason why we say sickness, now they call right people like us. Poverty may be riding on them. Poverty they ride on them like us. And demons <laughs> may be riding on some. And demons they ride on some of them. It's probably because they don't even know who they are. That because they don't know the person who they be. Another reason may be that the second one be say the prince may not even know that he's supposed to be riding. The king, the king, he not know say. Now he's supposed to be riding the horse. I mean, for example, he may think that trekking is a very good exercise. If it is say to trek. Now, very good exercise. Which it is. Now, so. If all you are doing is trekking within the surrounds of your house. If all what you are the trekking when they do now for much more distance. <laughs> but if you have to trek from here to Edinburgh. But if you want to trek from here, go to that far, far place where they call Edinburgh. Then I don't think it will be exercise anymore. And I don't believe say, this will not exercise anymore. There are many people who still believe that. Because the Bible says it will be hard for the rich to enter into the kingdom of God. Therefore, they do not want to be rich. Many people can't believe, say, because the Bible can't talk, say, it will be hard for rich people to enter the kingdom of God. They themselves, they don't become rich. Believe me honestly, I was like that before. They could not believe me, oh. I've been that kind of person before. I mean, God provided me with a Mercedes-Benz car and I locked it up in the garage. God can't provide five Mercedes-Benz car for me. I can't lock up for my motor garage. Because I did not believe that a good pastor should be seen riding that kind of car. Because I not believe, say, it ain't good for pastor when good well well. To call the right this type of Mercedes car. You've heard the story before, so I won't repeat it. Oh, I don't hear this story before. I'm not going to re repeat them again. And there are some of us who believe that because the Lord said you are to carry your cross and follow him, we believe that the cross means sickness. Many of us, because the Bible can't tell us, say, we good men carry our cross, they follow him. God to say this cross, now sickness. And poverty and sorrow. Now sorrow, now poverty. And loneliness. So if someone to be lonely. We did not believe that we could live life abundantly. We did not believe, say, it is possible for us to live life, yafu yafu. I mean, just to tell you how ignorant we can be. To know the extent of which we not still understand this thing. Only of recent, in one of our churches, I was asked to come and talk on surviving in hostile environment. For one of our church, they can't invite me. Make I can't preach. A topic when to say for a person to can't survive this strong condition when we say with the face. I read it again and again. I couldn't believe my eyes. I can't read the topic again and again. I don't feel believe my eyes. I thought in the redeemed Christian church of God asked me to come and talk on surviving. I can't imagine, say, for inside the dim Christian church of God, they can't come and make a call talk about for person to come survive the austerity period. We are not supposed to survive. We are to triumph. We're not supposed to survive. We're supposed to triumph the maker here and there. <laughs> only few said yes. The only small people will say yes. Because they are not sure. Because they're not believer, we? I say we are to triumph. We're supposed to succeed. How many victors are here? Let me hear you shout hallelujah. How many people won't go succeed day here? I want to not to shout hallelujah. And then many a times we've been told what is written in First Peter chapter 2, verse 21. Many times they don't tell us what they write for First Peter chapter 2, verse 21. By well-meaning <laughs> leaders. Jesus Christ suffered and left us an example to follow in his footsteps. Some people when be said when be our leader, they also say Jesus Christ does suffer well well, and he wants us more to follow this his example of suffering. And so they use that as an excuse for poverty. I can't take this one as reason for us to make with the poor. And yet they forgot that Jesus was here 
And all the time he was there, they was never sick for one day. And don't forget, say Jesus Christ, when he did his life, oh, he did not get any day when we say he called for sick. If he had had a headache, the Bible would have recorded it for us. If he gets chickily headache, the Bible will tell us that one. They want to follow in his footsteps, but they don't want to follow in the footsteps of his power. They won't follow God, waka, but they don't want to follow God, waka for power. They don't want to follow in the footsteps of his holiness. They don't want to follow God, waka for his holiness. Of his purity. For his purity. Of his glory. For his glory. And believe it or not, Jesus Christ was not extremely poor because he had a treasurer. I believe, I want to believe me, oh, Jesus Christ, oh, he not poor well, well, oh, because he gave us the holy money. I don't know how many of you are rich enough to appoint a treasurer yet. I don't know how many of you are getting money well, well, when we say, I can't get one person when we say, they open at the holy money. And they want to follow in his footsteps, but they didn't want everything he has to offer. They won't follow Jesus Christ and Waka. They don't want to accept everything when Jesus Christ is ready to give us. Maybe that's one of the reasons why princes are trekking. That could be one of the reasons when God make king picking the trek. But I believe that tonight things will change. I can't believe say this night or things will change. Because I remember very well that the Almighty God, our example, the Lord Jesus Christ said that. The works that he did, we shall do us. Jesus Christ, our example, God tell us, say the work when he do, we will do that work also. And he said, we shall do greater works. And he said, the one way even big past that, we go do one. But, and this is probably where the real story begins. This one, now where the, the story comes starts, where we? The priest might be trekking because Probably once upon a time he used to ride. He picked the king in the trek because long, long time ago he did ride horse. But if the things time had changed and now he's trekking. Things don't turn around. That trek is gonna trek now. These are the people that I really want to talk to tonight. Now these kind of people I want to talk to this night. Because when you go through the scriptures, you find several princes who used to ride but ended up Trekking. If when I go through the Bible, now I can see many kings picking when we say they ride before, but later they can't handle the trek. A very good example is a man called Demas. One good example, now one man they call Demas. When you read about him in Colossians chapter 4, verse 14. When you can't read about this man for Colossians chapter 4, verse 14. Paul called him a fellow laborer. Paul, you can't call him best when they follow them, they do work. But by the time you get to 2 Timothy chapter 4, verse 10, but when you can't reach 2 Timothy chapter 4, verse 10, he said, Demas had forsaken me. He said, Demas, so he don't forget me. Having loved the present world. Because he don't like the things of this world. This man was riding with Paul the Apostle. This man, oh, he followed Paul the Apostle, the ride. But all of a sudden, he was trekking. At once, so that trek is called the trek with the people of the world. With the people of this world. And we can find another example of a prince. We we'll get another example of King Pekin. When you look at George, Judges chapter 15, verse 14 to 15. Judges 15, verse 14 to go 15. Judges 15, verse 14 to 15. Judges 15, verse 14, go 15. You find something. You go see something. When he was riding. When he say the ride. I mean, they bound this man, brought him into the camp of the enemy. Imagine they can't catch this man, they can't bring a calm, the place where they say the enemy day. He shook himself, found the jawbone of an ass. When they say they shout, he can't shake his body, as he shake his body, come find warm animal bone. Killed just 1,000 of the enemies before the rest fled. Coffee kill 1,000 before the other ones fear escape. That was something before. That's something before. But by the time you get to Judges chapter 16, verse 20 to 21, the one God is Judges chapter 16, verse 20, God is 21. You find the same Samson grinding corn. You can see this same Samson going to grind corn as a prisoner of the enemy. For inside the prison of the enemy, going round and round and round, grinding corn. You see how they move for circle the grind corn. You know, in Africa, they talk about. A monkey that treks. 
For Africa, when they talk monkey, you know the waka. You know the implication of that. I believe so. I know the meaning of that word. Monkeys were supposed to jump from trees to trees. Monkey now from one tree to the other, now is supposed to jump. And when something happens to a monkey and he begins to walk on the ground, when something can happen to monkey and he can the waka for the ground, that's the most terrible thing that can happen to a monkey. Now the bad thing will go fear happen to that monkey. I pray it will never happen to you. I pray that kind of thing not go happen to you. Now, what exactly does trekking mean? What does trekking come mean? Because some of us might be trekking, we may not know it. Because many of us will feel a trek, but we don't know this thing. Some of us in the ministry today are trekking, and we may not even realize that we are trekking. Some of us, they say, church walk or with a trek, we not even know say with a trek. So let me quickly share with you just a little bit about what we mean by trekking. They can come tell you a small thing of what trekking can really mean. Trekking means number one, making progress. Trekking, it can mean number one, for one to they make progress. That will surprise to you. That will be surprise you. A man who is trekking is making progress. The man when we say they trek or he they make progress. And whether you like it or not, he's making steady progress. But I don't like I'm unknown to now progress when they steady like they make. Plus, have one step after the other. Because you could carry one leg after the other leg. It's moving on. The worker. The only problem with the progress it's making is that it is slow progress. The only problem we come there for this progress be saying now slow progress with that. And it is sweaty progress. And in the make person they sweat. Because when you are walking, when you are trekking, you are making progress. The progress is steady. It is slow, and it's full of sweat. Like when you do work, you find and say the progress when you they make it is slow, and you yourself you can sweat for your body. And some of us will begin to understand now. I believe that some of us don't understand this one. You know, it reminds us of Genesis chapter three, verse seventeen to nineteen. It can't make us remember Genesis chapter 3, verse 17, go reach 19. Genesis 3, verse 17 to 19. Genesis chapter 3, verse 17, go reach 19. Where the Almighty God said to Adam, He said, You will sweat before you eat. When God can't tell Adam, say, You go sweat before you feel or eat. And trekking means progress, but the progress will be boring. Trekking, no. Now, progress, but this progress, so you know, go switch it for body. Because we just keep plodding on one step after the other. One, you know, they work out one leg after the other leg, one leg after the other leg. And many of us today now will just go through the routine. Every Sunday, we are in church. Many of us, so we just continue this Christian work. Sunday, we feel go church. Maybe Wednesday, we are midweek service. Wednesday, we feel go weekly activities. Friday, one hour prayer meeting, the same plodding and plodding and plodding. On Friday, we'll come attend one hour prayer meeting. Everything's still there the same. We're making progress. Last year, we were 100. This year, we're 110. We didn't make progress for our church. Last year, now 100 would be, but this year, now 110 would all be. Boring progress. In our progress, when we say not a sweet person for body. When you find someone who is trekking, you will suddenly discover that. If you see person when they walk out, when they trek. If you still read Psalm 122, verse 1. If you can't read Psalm 122, verse 1. You will read it slightly differently from what is written there. The person will read that different from what in the right there. You know, Psalm 122, verse 1 says. Psalm 122, verse 1. Don't say. I was glad when they say, let us go to the house. Of the Lord. See, are they happy when they tell us someone will go to church? When you find someone who is trekking, now when you go see person when they trek, if he's going to read that one, he will say, I was glad when they say, Let us share the grace in fellowship. If the person goes still read that Psalm 122, verse 1, go to say, Are they happy when they say, Look, we share the grace in fellowship? In other words, thank God this one is over. He come and say, thank God, though. say this short service don't close. Whenever you find someone who is not excited when they say it is time to go into the house of the Lord, he's trekking. Anytime you can't see anybody when they say, not they happy when they say, go short, that person feel the trick. Whenever they say something is happening, 
that has to do with worshiping God. When it comes apple, say something the apple. So we need to worship God. Giving to God, praying, studying the word. We need to pray. We need to study the word of God. And something within you does not live for joy. And something inside you not make you the happy. Maybe you are trekking. If it be say you the trek. Because we could all remember a time. Particularly when we've just been born again. All of us will remember when we newly born again. You hear a chorus at all, you want to stop eating and join the dancing. If you not can't hear any chorus at all, and you they eat, you gonna like to stop the food first. You will go dance on before you can continue your food. Is anybody like that here? Yeah. Anybody be like that for you? But now. <laughs> Maybe somebody had to pump you before you shout hallelujah. Then now, person need to push you before you cause shout hallelujah. Maybe you are trekking. If you be say you the trek. Trekking is tiring progress. Trekking no now progress when be say they make person they tire. There's progress, but very soon you become tired. If they make progress, you may not to say you come the tired. I mean, could you just imagine? Trekking from here now to Welling Garden City. Well, I can imagine, say, someone called a trek from this place, go reach that far place, where be Welling Garden City. I don't know too many places in London, but I know where I came from. I don't know many places for London, but I know where I come from. <laughs> and I know if you are going to trek that thing, you are likely to get tired on the way. I know, sir, if you try to go trek, go that place. You dare possibly say you don't tire for wood. I am not sure the Bible did not say whether Ananias and Sapphira were present on the day of Pentecost. I'm not that sure because the Bible did not say Ananias and Sapphira whether they did with the apostles for that day of Pentecost. Whether they were among the original 3,000 that God born again. Whether they did among the original 3,000 when God gave their life to Christ. But if they were, then definitely. When they started the journey, they were full of energy, they were full of zeal, they were boiling hot. If they are among those people, they come and say, when they start this Christian work, they get energy, full body, they get mind, they get the heart to the do the work well. But by the time you move from Acts of the Apostles chapter 2 to Acts of the Apostles chapter 5, they won't come move from Acts chapter 2, go Acts chapter 5. And then I answer fire. We're already getting tired. Ananias and Sapphira, they know they're tired. That's why when they sold their land, they said, This thing, we don't know how it's going to end. I mean, they can't sell their land and they call it to themselves, say, Ah, this is what they do. We don't know when it go end, though. Let's put half of the money somewhere, just in case. They could just hide part of the money in one place. So, in case anything happens. The most terrible thing about trekking is that it is the last, one of the last two stages before sitting down. The bad work on day about trekking, it means say, that be the last two stage when day before person will come sit down. If you read Psalm 1, verse 1. If you can read Psalm 1, verse 1. The Bible talks about Walking. The Bible can't tell us about person when they walk up, standing, person when they stand, and then sitting down, person when sit down. In other words, if you have found yourself in that stage where you are now trekking, and if you can't find yourself for that position when they trek, the next thing to expect is standing. The next thing will come happen to you, you can't stand. Standing still on one spot. You stand for one place, and after that one, you just quit. And after that one, you think can't come out. What about riding? What about to ride? Riding also means progress. To ride also means for a person to make progress. But it means unusual progress. They mean progress when they come on. I mean, you are the back of a horse. The progress be say because you're the back of a horse. If you've seen a horse move before, you yourself will see that. You are here this moment. And people come see and say, you did this place just now. The next moment, you probably, people will be expecting you to still be inside this building in the next two seconds, but you are already far, far out. You know, go to say, people could expect you to say, you go to this other place, but you don't go far, far. Or use your progress. Then our progress will not come on. Like it happened 
on the day of Pentecost. Like it got happen for that day of Pentecost. In Acts chapter two, verse forty-one. For Acts chapter two, verse forty-one. One single sermon. Just one single sermon. And the congregation of the church of Pastor Peter increased from one twenty to three thousand one twenty. The church of Pastor Peter can increase from one twenty to three thousand one twenty. That is. Unusual progress. Then that progress when they come on. Some of us used to make that progress. Some of us when they here, would they make that type of progress? How many of you in church this Sunday? Fifty. How many of you are there inside the church the, this Sunday? Fifty. The following Sunday, two hundred. The coming Sunday, not two hundred. Sunday after that one, four hundred. The Sunday we come past that one, four hundred. We used to make that kind of unusual progress. Would they make that type of progress when they come on? But. Uh, Maybe times have changed. Should be say things don't change. Riding means unusual progress. To ride means say progress when they come on. It means galloping progress. It means progress when they make person they gallop. Because if you are riding on a horse, you gallop. Because when they ride on top of horse, you they go up and down, you they gallop. I mean, by the time the the church of Reverend Peter. By the time when Reverend Peter's church had had the second sermon, they can hear the second preaching. They had galloped from 3,120 to 8,120. They all moved from 3,020 to 8,020. You'll find it in Acts of the Apostle, chapter 4, verse 4. You will see that one for Acts, chapter 4, verse 4. 5,000 added in one day. Now, 5,000 I call. They can add to the church for one day. Galloping progress. Then a progress when the carry person they go up. I'm up. sure many of us pastors we want that kind of progress. I believe say many of us will be pastors that type of progress we want. Another thing about riding is that the progress you make will be effortless. Another thing when good to work on there, but for someone to ride. It means say the progress what you they make, you know the sweat puts. Why? What would be the reason? Because you're just going for the ride. Because now just ride is just the ride. You're sitting on the horse, the horse is just taking you to places. You are not making an effort. You just sit on top of the horse. The horse now they can't go different places. If there's any effort you make at all, it's maybe just telling the horse. Could you move a little faster? If you do any serious work, the thing will just be say to tell the horse, say. You can move very fast. That's the kind of progress that we saw in Acts of the Apostle chapter 5. Now that kind of progress we can see for Acts of the Apostle chapter 5. From verse 12 to 14. From verse 12 to 14. Signs, wonders, and then multitudes came in. Signs, so wonders, and that's the kind of results to bring many People come. In fact, the Bible said the Lord was adding to the church daily. This coming said, now every day, now God they add to the church. Those who are to be saved. Those people when we say they need to be saved. It wasn't the it wasn't the efforts of the apostles. It was God adding. Not be the apostles they do the work. Now God Himself they do the work. Because of course they were riding on someone else. Because now another person did they ride on. As the Bible said in Zechariah chapter four verse six, said not by might, not by power, but by my spirit. Zechariah four verse six, God say, not be by my power, not be by my strength, too, but not by God's spirit. Effortless progress. Progress when we say you know the sweat boots. And because it is progress. Because now progress, unusual progress, now progress when we say you know they come on, galloping progress, progress when they carry person they go up, effortless progress, progress when we say you know they sweat foot, it becomes exciting progress. It can't be progress when they sweat you for body, very exciting. Something when they sweat you for body. I mean, uh, <laughs> why wouldn't you want to come to church on Sunday when you don't know what's going to happen? You don't go come church or something when you don't know what you want to happen. When you don't know whether the lame is going to walk or the blind is going to see. When the person will not feel what can come walk out, or person when be say yeah, blind you can't see. Or the queen is going to visit. Or the queen will like go visit. I mean, 
Why won't you lose interest in coming to church on Sunday when you know when you come you will see the same old faces? Why you not go lose interest when they say when you come you will go constantly say that the same old face, my dear. Same mouths shouting little hallelujahs. And the same mouths, now they see they shout small, small hallelujahs. Same noses grumbling. As the same nose, now they see they complain. But when you come to church, you don't even know what to expect. And when you come to church, you don't know what you go to see. You don't know whether why they are singing choruses, people will be falling under the anointing. You don't know whether when they sing choruses, people will come to fall under the anointing. You can hardly wait for the church to open. You go to the church, I mean the open church. I pray for you, brethren, that after tonight, I can't pray for you that this night, say, Princess will get back on horses. King the king, they will come start to the ride on horses again. Exciting progress. Progress on a sweet summer for body. The Bible said in Acts chapter 2, Verses 46 and 47. But Acts chapter 2, verse 46, go read 47. Acts 2, 46 and 47, he said. Acts 2, verse 46, go read 47. It also said. They had, this is my own in, uh, interpretation or translation. They just say, this is not my own English. They had great services in the temple. They can't get big church service for temple. And beautiful house fellowships. And they can't get better, better house fellowship. They had both. They get these two. When they go to church, I mean, the temple roared. When they go to church, you can't hear sound for the temple. Which shouts of glory to God. With shouts of glory to God. Because, I mean, you, you never can tell. Why they are just beginning the chorus, somebody was getting ready to sing the special number. When the girls begin the chorus, a person is ready to come sing special number. A man who was born late who can just bust in through the door and break up the service. What person when we say, born now, when we say, not you, what can Because you open the door, come inside. You all stop the service. And then the Bible said they were going from house to house, having house fellowship, eating their bread with joy. The Bible does say that they move from one house, go to the other house, they get house fellowship. They come to eat their bread with happy mind. Riding. Exciting progress. Riding. Progress on the sweet person for God. Yeah. And glorious progress. Progress when we say they shine away. Well. Because it is progress without sweat. Because that progress when they sweat inside. No sweat. No sweat. No dust. No dust there inside. No struggle. And then they struggle inside. The people, in fact, Acts chapter 5, verse 13. But Acts chapter 5, verse 13. Acts 5, 13 says. Acts 5, verse 13 to say. The people magnified the Christians. Say the people, they call they like the Christians. You know. Sinners will see them and say, ah, ha, ha. we know your type. Sinners will come see them, will come to say, ah, we know that type. It is my prayer that very, very soon, particularly in Europe. Now my prayer say, you know, go to so for even for Europe. Sinners will begin to magnify Christians. Sinners will, they call it fear Christians. I've said it again and again that and I'll talk and again and again. I don't like to tell too many of the testimonies of what God is doing back home. Say I don't like to they talk the testimony of what God they do for our home. Because I know that people won't believe me anyway. Because I believe say some of them are not gonna believe me. Because many of the things happening are just too incredible. Because many of the things were happening are things when we say a big well where person no go feel understand that. So when you when you say this, they say mm. and they call you to say this, people say mm. like somebody said, Africans don't know how to count. Like you have one person to say African they don't know how to count. So when you say ten thousand people were saved in one night they say um well maybe he was counting fingers. You can't tell and say that 10,000 people now got saved for one night. They say, well, bless now finger now this person they can't. So then, that's why you don't hear me sharing most of the testimonies. I mean, when they hear me, they talk some of these testimonies. But fortunately, maybe there are one or two people here. If you ask them, they tell you. One or two persons they hear. Even I can't ask them, they go tell you. Just this last month, we had just one little Holy Ghost night at the National Stadium. 
In order to say, for this last month, we call Owen Small Legal Service for National Stadium. The National Stadium, as many of you probably know, is the largest stadium in the whole of the country. As many of you now know, this National Stadium ain't big pass for the full country. It's supposed to have sitting capacity of 50,000. That's 50,000 people now can sit for that stadium. Normal sitting capacity. The top position for people to sit. And we try to augment that one with 64,000 chairs. I will go and try add put with 61,000 chairs. And the program was to start by 8 p.m. And the program will start for 8 p.m. But there was not a single seat left by 7 p.m. By 7 p.m. for evening, no. We know no seats remain when person go fill seats. And people were still pouring in by twelve midnight. And by twelve midnight, your people you see the waka they come, they come in large number. And when the ushers had counted three hundred and twenty-five thousand people, they will stop bothering themselves. By the time the usher not carry three hundred and twenty-five thousand people, they can't tire to the count. More than 20,000 saved in two nights. You will say, mm, is that likely? When we talk say more than 20,000 people saved for two, two nights, you say, hmm. I mean, if I tell you that among the numerous miracles that happened was that of at least one man who had one hand two inches shorter than the other because of an accident, and in the presence of everybody, the two hands became equal, you say. <laughs> if I go tell you now, among all these shows, I'll go tell you now, a particular miracle where happened that night. One man, one of his hands, they shot past the other one because of accident when he gets. Whenever they look, oh, 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 the two hands, they come they equal to each other. If I now go as far as to tell you that Oh, in Ibadan, there was a woman there. If I can't tell you now, say, for Ibadan, one woman there. After we've had a very glorious time, all kinds of miracles, signs and wonder, the kind that you may even be able to believe. After we all get many, many miracles, many, many different miracles, even the one where we say, go out for you to come believe. God then spoke to us and said, there's a woman here who on, on uh, armpits, instead of here, there were there are feathers. When God can't tell us, a one woman there inside this place, so when we say under her armpit, so instead of air, we're supposed to do now, feather and I did there. That if she will come out, God says he will take care of that. I can confess to you that even myself, say, oh God. Say, if this woman, if he come outside, the God will come take care of the situation. I feel tell her now, say, me myself, I beg, say, oh God. Daddy, we have had a wonderful time. Say, Papa, we will not get one better time, oh. Why don't you just let us go home? Why you not just allow us to go home, they are happy? I mean, this one will spoil the whole show, now. This one, oh, if he spoil the show. If I call this woman and she does not come out, I mean, people will say, you see, he's overreached himself. If I can't call this man, the woman not come out, so people will say, hmm, look at me, that they show himself. But I know who was speaking. But I know who they talk. So I made the announcement. Come make this announcement. And I was trying to plead with the woman. I could have tried to the beg the woman. Don't be shy. If you don't come out, I will understand, but... Say if you don't come outside, I feel you understand, but... You will never get this... Before I could finish, she was out there. Say you're not going to feel get this opportunity again. But before I talk, finish, the woman not come outside. Glory be to God. Glory be unto God. Oh. And my wife was next to me after we prayed for her and she left. My wife stand near me after we all prayed for this woman. This woman can't go. I'm sure looking at her, she was saying, maybe she didn't understand, she must, maybe she's crazy or something. My wife going to look this woman and say, if you be said this woman don't understand, if you be said this woman don't cool. She didn't know what you have said or something. She don't know what you don't talk. And when it was testimony time, she came. The one time, the rich woman said, we can't share testimony. This woman can't come outside. Said, Glory be to God, the hair had grown in place of the feather. She can't say, 
I thank God well, well, no. Say, now, hair don't grow, don't replace the feather when they inside my armpits. And when she was speaking, she spoke Queen's English. When this woman, they talk now, better English now she did talk from her mouth. No, I mean, you wouldn't believe that. that. That kind of thing don't happen. Well, most of them, I feel not believe that one, no. Because that kind of thing, no, they happen for you. I'm telling you that if the princes can get back on their horse. And they tell them, I say, if this princes, the feet enter, or the feet, they, the feet go back on the right on us. If we will allow the Holy Spirit to carry us. If we can feet allow the Holy Spirit to make it carry us. Instead of us carrying ourselves. Instead of us to come to carry ourselves. The kind of things that the world had never seen before. The kind of when they say the world no one see before. They begin to see. They will come to see him. You see, because riding is the next stage to fly. Because to ride, though, that be the next stage before a person will come to fly. Because if you are riding a horse, you can cause the horse to run. Because when you they ride horse, if you make the horse, make it start to run. And if you just move from walking to running. Because when you just move from, for you to come to walk, you come to run. The next thing will be flying. The next thing will come for you now to fly. You can read that in Isaiah chapter 40 verse 31. If you read that for Isaiah chapter 40 verse 31. Now, the question now is. How do we get back on the horse? Now the question be say, how will people enter this horse back? You no, know, I told you at the beginning, this message is not for everybody. It's likely to be maybe for the fellow sitting next to you. I don't tell you now before. Say this message, not be everybody now you consign you. If you be the person when they sit down near you. Because I know many of you are on the horses. Praise God. Because I believe say many of you are now also now did the ride. Praise God for that. You are not trekking at all. Not at all. Oh, you are making unusual progress. A better progress you they make. They have promoted you three times this year. That three times they don't promote you. No, there's nobody here who have been on the same spot for five years. Nobody went be say when they went be seen at one place a day for five years. No, no, at all. No, no, for now. There's no one here whose church has grown by less than one percent per annum. Nobody went there when be saying only one percent like the church they grew. No, 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 no. We are growing by by leaps and bounds, doubling every two two months. We are riding. We they increase two times every two two months. Now ride now with the ride. We are not trekking. We're not a trek. But just in case there's one fellow who is trekking. In case one person they work on the trek. And wants to get back on the horse. And you want to ride the horse back again. How do we get back on the horse? How will we get back to the horse? The first thing I will ask you to do is find out what you did wrong. The first thing I will ask you is say, may you find what you don't do well or good. That got you replaced in the first place. They can make you on the trek and your servant can ride for your life. What was it that got you down from the horse that the Holy Spirit has provided for you? When you can't bring you come down from the horse when the Holy Spirit don't give you. Find it out. You try to find that one. And then acknowledge your fault. Then you can accept your fault. In all humility. Then you can humble yourself and accept your fault. Because we are not going to get back on that horse. Until you know why you got off. No, if you ride on that horse again, until you can't know the reason when bring you come down from the horse. Because you didn't get off voluntarily. It's most likely you were pushed off. Nobody you just come up from the horse. Now push the push you come up from the horse. In Luke chapter 15, verse 17 to 19. For Luke chapter 15, verse 17, go reach 19. Luke 15, verse 17 to 19. Luke 15, verse 17, go reach 19. And the Bible said, when the prodigal son came to himself. The Bible does say, when the prodigal son had gone correct. In other words, he had been beside himself for a long time. Before, he had not correct. He had been living in a dream world. He thought all, he was doing fine. But all of a sudden, he came to himself. He when he lived yeah, 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 life. But when he had gone correct. He then said, wait a minute. Consummate. 
I have sinned against heaven. He said, I have not sinned against heaven. I have sinned against my father. He said, I have not do, I have not also sinned against my father. I will arise and go back to him and I will admit. He said, I go get up and go meet my papa. And I will beg him and say, I have made some mistakes. I don't do bad things. And then, you must be willing to eat the humble pie. You are agreed to submit yourself to that shame. And retrace your steps. Try arrange yourself, come back. Go all the way back to where you were before you got off the horse. You try arrange yourself. Come know where you did before you come for come up on the horse. Before you began to trek. Before you go to that, you got to that stage you were. Christianity was no longer exciting for you anymore. You trust yourself, go reach that place. When it be say you can't start to trek, when the thing about Christianity, you're not going to switch it for body. Because that prodigal son in Luke chapter 15, from verse 20 to 24, he did not only say, I will arise and go to my father. The prodigal son for the Bible, not only to say, Ingo gets up, go meet Papa. He arose and did exactly what he said. He will do. He really gets up going to Papa. And he can't really do what he just said he will do. And then, if you are going to get back on the horse, you are going to need to seek the help of someone much greater than you. For you to enter the horse again, though, you need person who get power past you. To help you unseat the servant. I'm going to help you push the servant come off of the horse so that your feet sit on top of the horse again. Because that servant is not going to climb down. Because this servant will you not know, come down. No. Simply because you say so. Just because you talk him. <laughs> if you don't believe me, go to some African countries. You don't believe me, oh. Then you can go to some African country. And as the civilian. Then you can ask the people in the state that country. Oh, I've been saying to some people who are supposed to be defending the country. When they tell the people when we say supposed to defend the country. Some people who are supposed to be the servants of the civilians. Those people who are supposed to be servants of those people in the country. Who got on the side. Back on the leading position. And they've been saying to them, come down, we are supposed to be riding the horse. God tell them, say, come down, are we supposed to be ride on top of the horse? They say, eh, come and put us down. They <laughs> say, okay, come bring me, come down now. <laughs> I mean, I told you we want to come down. Who tell you so I won't come down? I mean, riding is better than trekking. Because riding you know, is better pass making the trek. Any day. Any time. You're going to need help before you can get back on your horse. You need help before you feel come and ride on top of that horse again. In Judges chapter 16, verse 28 to 30. Judges chapter 16, verse 28, go reach 30. Judges 16, verse 28 to 30. Judges 16, verse 28, go reach 30. Samson cried unto God. Say, Samson can't cry, go meet God. He said, Oh Lord God, remember me. God to say, Oh my God, make you remember me. Strengthen me just one more time. Just give me power again this time. In other words, I've learned my lessons. It means say, I don't learn my lessons, so give me just one more opportunity. Just allow me this time. It takes a man who had discovered his fault. Now only the person will be say he can't know his fault. Who are always willing to admit that he was wrong. Now, person when we say don't know the bad thing when they do, when God agreed to surrender, say they wrong. Who is willing to retrace his steps to ever get back on the horse? When God agreed to go trace his step, let go feet ride the horse again. I've shared this with very few of my friends before. I have told this one with my friends before. We were doing great in my own estimation. We did do good things for my own eye. Some years ago, but three or four years ago now. About three or four years ago. I thought I was doing marvelously well. I think I did do well. But as any other pastor in the in the country, they think that uh, ah, Pastor Adebo is doing well. Ask other pastors when they're in Nigeria, they go tell you, say, ah, Pastor Adebo, you do well. I thought so too. Me, I see things so too. We were making progress. We made progress. At least we were increasing by about a hundred people every one or two months. Would they increase with hundred people every one or two months? And then all of a sudden, you see, don't believe it when they tell you that God has no favorite. You see, more than I believe, see, when people they tell you that, say, God, no, get person when we say, like, pass. I believe he has. I believe say God gets. How do I know? Because I'm one of them. I can't say no this one. Because I'll be one of them. Because I know he loves me more than you. Because I know say he can't like me past you. 
Ah, well. If you believe he loves you more than me, then he must have favorites. Amen. If you believe, say, it's not like you pass me. God should say, God get favorites. Amen. The Almighty God called me in short one day and said, Son, you are trekking. God Almighty can't call me one day. Come tell me, say, My son, that trek you the trek. You're supposed to be riding. Isn't that a ride you're supposed to be riding? And I was shocked. I thought I was doing very well. Me myself, she got surprised me. I think said, I did do well. And then he shared with me something. He go remind me of some kind of things when we say don't happen before. Brought back to my memory. Those better, better days. When you pass. Days when the two of us together will be talking in my car. Those days when we say, me and Baba God will they talk for inside my car. The presence of God will be so much that I will park the car by the roadside because my hand will be shaking. Go Present inside the car go there too much. It go make me not fit drive. I can't park the car for side of the road because my hand is shake. And I was I will park by the roadside and I will weep and sing and rejoice. I come they cry. I come they sing. I come they happy. And by the but now I will be there just fellowshipping with the Almighty God. And he asked me, when did that happen last? No, then me and God go just did that they enjoy ourselves, the fellowship together. And God go ask me, say, my picking, when that one don't happen last? And of course, I, you know, I, <laughs> I had a ready-made answer. Of course, I believe so now. No, say I don't already arranged my answer. Ah, Lord, you know, things are different now. Um, I'm no longer in the car. The driver is in front. I'm at the back. Don't tell us. Say, things don't change this time. Oh. Not be only me there, the car. Oh. Driver there inside the car. They drive for front. I'm here at the back. Aha. Uh, uh -huh. So, it is my fault that I provided you with a driver. God to say, son of my fault, say, I can't give you driver. I said, Lord, I'm sorry. But tell us, God, I did sorry. You. I'm sorry, I got carried away. I did sorry. See, all that is don't enter my mind. I thought all these little, little successes is what it's all about. I did say all these things when they say I don't do any day better now. You be what you really want. But I know better. I don't know the main thing now. I know this not this not your own idea of progress. I don't know. Say this will not be your own package for progress. This might be man's idea. This will not be man's own idea. It's not your idea. It's not be your own idea with this one. I promise, Lord, I will put things right. I don't promise, say, I will put things for the right position. If we can't have fellowship in the car, we can have fellowship elsewhere. If we not go feel the fellowship for inside my car, we'll feel fellowship for another place. When everybody is sleeping tonight, Father, I will come out. If everybody is sleep this night, oh, Papa, oh, I'll come outside. We can have fellowship together. We'll feel fellowship with ourselves again. I remember that night very well. It was the beginning of a new thing in my life. I remember that night well, well, because now that's in that begin one new thing inside my life. I'm sharing this with you because I know there's someone here tonight. They say there's going to be a new beginning for you. And they share this song this time because one person there here when we say new thing won't start for your life. <laughs> Twelve midnight, everybody was sleeping and I came out. So that night, as everybody was sleeping myself, I can't come outside. And I just began to sing the same old song that I used to sing. I couldn't sing that old song when I didn't sing before. Simple songs. Now sing one simple song. Only Jesus can save. Only Jesus, now go feel safe. Hallelujah, only Jesus can save. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Holy Jesus. Now go feel safe. Hallelujah. There is no other way. No other way. Day. Hallelujah. Only Jesus can save. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Holy Jesus. Go feel safe. Hallelujah. And all of a sudden he came. At one, Jesus Christ can come. I trembled from head to toe. He can shake me from my head. Go reach my leg. And tears of I can't they cry. Tears they come out from my eyes. When be tears of joy. I began to stream down my face again. I can't they come from my eyes, stream from my face. And I knew. I can't they say that the relationship was being restored. The friend with me I ain't be, he don't come back to normal again. By his grace, I've not come down from the horse since then. By God's grace, I never come down from that horse since that time. Is there anybody here who wants to get back on the horse? Anybody there when we say want to climb the horse again? Before you pray. Before I come pray. Because I'm about to close, of course you know. <laughs> because I won't close, I believe so and I know that. What do you do if you get back? 
to stay on. What shall you go do so that you will stay on top of the horse? Because if you come down the second time, you may never be able to get back on that horse. Because if you can't come down the second time, it may not be possible for you to climb that horse again. The prodigal son left home only once. The prodigal son, the only one time he come off for us. If he's gone back the second time, I'm sure the devil will not allow him to get back. If he can't go back the second time, I believe so the devil will not go allow him to go back. If you are on the horse right now, if you don't on top of the earth now or if you want to get back or you be the best one be say won't well, climb the earth again when you do get back please remember to do the following when you climb the earth again remember to do these things thank you lord number one number one remember to keep all servants where they properly belong. If you try to put all the servants for that position when they're supposed to be. And believe me honestly, your flesh is the number one servant I'm talking about. A woman, I believe me, well, well, say, now your flesh not be the number one servant when are they talk about. In First Corinthians chapter nine, verse twenty-seven. For First Corinthians chapter nine, verse twenty-seven. Paul said, "I keep my body." Under. Paul to say, now under they put my body. Keep that body under control. I put my body under control. Or else you may want to get back on the horse again. Or else that my body go try one ride on the horse again. Number two. Number two. Please constantly remember that there is someone who raises up. And can put down. Make we try to remember this thing. Say, one person day when he takes someone up and he got the power to still bring that person down. Psalm 75, verses 6 and 7. Psalm 75, verse 6, glory 7. Psalm 75, verses 6 and 7. Psalm 75, verse 6, glory 7. It says, promotion comes from only one side. It does say promotion, now only one side now they come from. That God is the judge, he raises up one. And push that another. Say God might be the best when they judge matter. If they carry one person up and they bring the other person down. Remember the one who made you a prince to start with. Make you remember that person when make you king became. Constantly remember that. Make you remember that one. Never forget who is calling the shots. Make you not forget the person when we say that they arrange things. It's not you. Brother, not you, sister. Not be you, my brother. Not be you, my sister. It's God. My God. And I know some of us will not like this, but it is important. Not so many of us are not like this one, but it is very, very important. Because it is the truth. Because now the truth with that. In Luke chapter seven, verse one to eight. For Luke chapter seven, verse one, go reach eight. Luke seven, verse one to eight. Luke seven, one, go reach eight. The centurion that came to Jesus Christ made a statement. The centurion welcomed me, the Lord Jesus Christ. He can't talk one talk. He said, "I also am under authority." He said, "He himself." He did under authority. And I said to, and I have, you know, soldiers under me. And I said to this one, come and he comes. He said, and I can't get soldiers when they're under me. And I go call tell one, say, come and he go come, come. This one go and he goes. And the other one go and he can't go. It's a big lesson to learn from that man. Big lesson day for us to learn from this one. One of these days we'll probably just sit down and study him. One day we'll just sit down and look what they study about this man. But if you are going to remain on your horse, if you will remain on top of your horse, stay under authority. The good man you stay under authority. Because if you don't stay under authority, your servants will not obey you. Because if you don't stay under authority, your servants are not going to obey you. Servants only obey those who are under authority. Servants go only obey those people when they're under authority. If you stay under authority, if any servant wants to come on the horse, you say, Sit down. If you do under authority and any servant won't climb on top of the horse, you tell her, say, come on, sit down there. You are supposed to be trekking. You are supposed to be trek. And he will say yes, sir. And he will say yes, sir. If you stay outside authority, then you don't obey authority. You tell servants to get out, they will pull you down. You can't tell servants, many servants, come down, they will just carry you to where come up from the horse. They will tell you when we come by. We are more than you. So if we can't join body together, we big pass you, we strong pass you. And of course, finally, 
Last night. First Thessalonians chapter five, verse seventeen. First Thessalonians five, verse seventeen. First Thessalonians five, seventeen. First Thessalonians five, verse seventeen. Please pray without. So may you pray, make you not stop to pray. I am sure by now you have discovered that prayerlessness is a sign of an independent spirit. I believe so, and I don't know. Say, person when they pray, means say if you do everything. Those who will not pray are telling the Almighty God that they don't need Him. Those people when not go pray, I believe so, they tell God say they don't need God. And if you don't need the horse, and if you don't need the horse, then surely somebody else will ride. If you don't need the horse, well, that's in there when we say won't ride the horse. I don't know who God is talking to tonight. I don't know who God they talk to this night. But you see, I believe there is someone here who has a river. I believe there's one person there this night when get river and is rejoicing over the river. And I know say they're happy because of this river. When the Almighty God wants to give him or her. An ocean. When God won't give an ocean, they won't have big pass this river. I believe there is someone here who is trekking. I believe they get person when we say that trek in the trek. And the Almighty God is say, Let me help you. And God they thought say, Come make I help you. Let me start by putting a horse under you first. Make I start first to put us under you. And if you handle that one very well. And if, if you can't handle that one very well, well, then like her sister sang. Like our sister can sing. I can become the wind under your wings. Say that me will come be the breeze. We will come under your feather so that you feel the fly away. And I can take you to height. I can't take you go reach that high place. When we say, you know why? Even that you cannot even dream about. Dream about. Wherever you are. May I invite you to go on your knees before the Almighty God? Any year on a day, I beg on a moon I need that before God Almighty. And acknowledge your fault. And may you call, agree for the wrong thing what you don't do. Tell him you are sorry that you have tried to do his work in your own strength. Papa, oh, I just sorry, say I did try to do your work for my own strength. You have tried to live your life. And you try to live my life. As if you are wise enough. As if you can do it. As if say I will feed one. Without his assistance. Without God assistance. Tell him to forgive you. They're gonna tell and say, Papa, oh, please forgive me. And say, please, Lord. I'm tired of trekking. Papa, oh, I beg, oh, I don't tire to the trek. Help me, put me back on the horse. Help me, make you put me back on top of the horse. Put me back on the horse. Put me on top of the horse. And I promise you, oh Lord. And I promise you, Papa. I will never do anything that will cost you. I say, I'm not going to do any yet To put me down again. I'm going to make you put me down from the horse again. Put me back on the horse, oh Lord. Put me on top of the horse. So that your spirit will be doing the work for me and I will just be going. Going for the ride, and I will just be praising you. So that now your spirit go to do the work for me. Me myself, I just on top of the horse you ride. I will continue to praise you. I want to live a life of progress. I want to live the life when they say they make progress. Exciting progress. Progress when they switch person for body. Glorious progress. Progress when they shy away. away. And I know it is possible with you. I know that this one day possible with you. You are the unchangeable Lord. Now you be God when they change. What you did in those days when people moved from 120 to 3,120 one day, you can still do the same thing today. What do you do in those days? When people they move from 120 to 3,120 for one day, you go feel do that one today. Help me, my daddy. Help me, my papa. I surrender to you. I can't give my life to you. I humble myself before you. I can't give myself to you. Forgive my foolishness, oh Lord. Forgive my foolishness. Forgive me for the yet when I don't do. I thought I could do it without you, without your assistance. I thought I, I know the trick. I think I go feel dwell without your assistance. I think I know the tricks. And I thought I know that. Oh, if I just say this and that, things will happen. I think say if I don't talk this and I talk that, things go start to happen. But now, Lord. No longer by my wisdom. Papa God, 
I don't want to depend on my own wisdom. No longer by my power. I don't want to depend on my own power. No longer by my might. I don't want to depend on the strength when I get. Let it be by your spirit. Then make it be by your own spirit. Please help me. All those horses that are riding in my life. Please, Papa, help me. Those horses, when people they ride for my life. Help me pull them down. Help me to pull them down. And put me where I belong, Father. And put me where I'm supposed to be, Papa. I'm your prince. I'll be your pikino. Put me on my horse. Put me on top of my horse. Please, that fellowship that I used to enjoy. That fellowship, when I enjoyed before. That close communion, my Lord and my Savior. Master, my talk, when I get with you, my Lord, my Savior. Oh, that glorious embrace of yours. That better meeting when I get with you and we say you will come embrace me. That brought tears to my eyes as I worship you. And tears will come to flow from my eyes as I worship you. That caused the air on my head to rise when you came into my room. When we make my hair constant. When we say you can't come inside my room. When we were alone together. When we me and you there together at the fellowship. Those great experiences, Father, restore to me. Those better things you had experienced for those times. Papa, I pray you go bring them back again. Put me back on my horse. Make you put me back from my horse. Have mercy on me, Lord. Make you sorry for me, oh. Have mercy on me. I bet sorry for me, Papa. And I will never forget that my promotion comes only from you. I'm not going to forget again, say my promotion are from you, they come from. I will never forget. I'm not going to forget again. Have mercy on me, Father. I bet sorry for me, Papa. Have mercy on me. I bet sorry for me, Papa. Put me back on my horse. My Lord and my God. Put me back on top of my horse. My Lord, my God. Please, Lord, restore me to my kingdom. Please, Papa, make you come restore me, go my kingdom. I have spent enough time in the wilderness. I don't dare place when we say not get better thing for a long time. I spent enough time trekking, sweating. I know they trek for a long time. I know they sweat. Struggling. And they struggle here and there. Before I can get any little progress. Before I feel get shaken length progress. Help me from this day onward, Lord. I bet may you help me from this time onward. Please, my Father, my God, be merciful unto me. I beg, oh, my Papa, my Lord, make you sorry for me. Be merciful unto me, Lord. I beg, sorry for me, oh, Papa. Be merciful unto me. I beg, sorry for me, Papa. Be merciful unto me. Sorry for me, Papa. Be merciful unto me. Sorry for me, Papa. Restore to me, my Father, my God, my first love. Thank you. Come give me that love when I love you first time. There was a time of you are the only one I love. One time day when we seen only you I love. I didn't care for any other thing. I just wanted your approval. I don't care what it happened. Now only when you say yes, then me want. Now I, I listen more to the approval of men. No, now listen. I only waiting man talk. Please have mercy on me. Please, Papa, sorry for me. Have mercy. On me, Lord. Please sorry for me. That close intimacy that existed between us before. That close friendship when we say me and you get before. As I could feel you all around me. As I they feel you, your presence around me. As a little boy sitting on a horse. As one small picking when they sit down on top of us. Those days when I could feel your power, your inexhaustible power. Those times when we say I they feel your power, your power when we say not the finish. Like that of a mighty horse. Like the one of of us when get power throbbing through me when we say they under me they move those days when i knew you were carrying me those days when we say i know now you they carry me oh my father my god when you were carrying me my father my god Oh, you did carry me. Help me, Lord. Help me, Papa. Oh. Restore, restore. I bet bring back, bring back. Restore those days back to me. Then you bring back those days to me again. Restore that intimacy, my Lord and my Savior. Then you bring back that closeness when I get to you, my Lord, my Savior. Have mercy on me. I bet sorry for me. Let there be a new beginning, Lord, a new beginning for me. A new beginning starts for my life. I beg, give me a new beginning. Give me just one more opportunity. I beg, give me one chance again. And I promise you I won't misuse it, Father. I promise you I'm not going to hear this chance again. I promise you I will not misuse it. I promise you I'm not going to hear it again. Just give me one more opportunity. Please just give me this one more chance. Please, Lord. I beg you, Papa. Put me back 
and my horse. Put me back on top of my horse. Restore to me that joy of salvation. Make you come give me that joy when they inside salvation. The ecstasy, Lord God Almighty, of your embrace. The enjoyment, that sweetness when they inside, when you embrace me. Restore it to me. Make you give me back. The glory of your presence. The glory when they inside your presence. It used to be my joy. When be my joy. When people will look at me and they wonder what's making me so glad. When people come look inside me, they come they wonder what is making this person they happy. And I cannot explain it. I know what you tell them. But I know, Lord. But I come to say, it's the glory of your presence. It's your glory and your presence. Please, Lord, restore that to me. Please, Papa God, make you give me that one. Those days that I used to just rejoice that I know you are near. Those days when we say they happy, say because you didn't near. When I didn't care whether my prayers were answered or not. When I never care whether my prayer you answered them or not. I just knew that you were there, and that was enough joy. The only thing I know say you did it. That one, now I can put joy for my body. Oh Lord, have mercy. Oh Lord, sorry for me. When I wasn't half as comfortable as I am now. When we say things were better for me, the way it better for me now. I used to enjoy your presence so much. I didn't enjoy your presence that time. I used to enjoy your presence so much. I didn't enjoy your presence that time, where we Please help me, Lord. I pack up. I beg make you help me. Maybe a bit restoration tonight. Make restoration come day this night. Let there be restoration tonight. Make restoration come day this night. Let there be restoration tonight. Make restoration come day this night. Let there be restoration tonight. Make restoration day this night. I come to you, my Father, my God. I arise. I don't come meet you, my Father, my Lord. I don't stand up from the dust. From the dust. Where I have thrown in myself. What if you see I don't fall good? I come back to you. I don't come back and meet you. Receive me tonight, Lord. And wrap yourself around me. Make you come receive me this night. I mean, you can wrap yourself around me. Embrace me and keep me close to yourself. Don't let me ever stray from you anymore. Make you can't keep me close to yourself. Make you not allow me to I come out again. Please, Lord, have mercy on me. Please, God, oh, make you sorry for me. Have mercy on me. I've been sorry for me. And take all the glory, Daddy. I mean, you can't take all the glory. Take all the glory. Let there be a new beginning now. A new beginning for me. Take out the glory and make new things come start to my life. Of a closer walk with you. Make new things come start to my life. Say I can't get close to you. I may know you more than ever before. Make I can't know you well, well, past the way I know you before. Let me love you more than ever before. Make I can't love you more than the way I know you before. Let me love you more than anything else. Make I can't love you past anything when they decide. Let me love you even more than the ministry. Make I can't even love you past even the ministry when I handle. It will give in to me. Let me just love you. Make I can't love you past the ministry when you don't even give me. Let me just love you, Lord. Make I just love you. Let me just love you. Make I just love you. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Papa. Glory be to your holy name. Glory unto your holy name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. In Jesus' mighty name, we all pray. Brother, I'm going to pray with you now. But brother and sister, I won't pray with you now. now. And after that, you are still going to pray a prayer. And after this prayer, you are still going to pray your own prayer. Well, first, let me pray with you. First, you make a come pray with you now. Daddy. Papa. I thank you. I can't thank you. Thank you for bringing us together tonight. I thank you because now you be the one where arrange us come together this night. Thank you for speaking to us. Thank you. Say you don't talk to us. I thank you for allowing us to see ourselves. Thank you. Say you come here allow us to no, see ourselves. But we thought we were great. We did say we were big before. Oh yes, we are princes and princesses. Now true, we be king boy picking a king girl picking. And many of us have been trekking. And many of us you don't see who they trek. We've been trekking now for months. We don't trek for months. Some of us for years. For some of us in our years without the trek. Thank you because I believe that you had decided that you are going to put an end to our mystery. I believe, say, you don't agree for your mind to stop this suffer when they suffer. That's why you send this message to us tonight. I make you come tell us this message this night. As many of us, Lord, 
as I've cried to you for restoration. As many of us have cried to you, so may you bring back those good things for us. Please restore us in Jesus' name. Please may you bring us back on top of our house in Jesus' name. Whatever we've done wrong, that thing will not do. That cut us, cause us to be thrown off from the horses of the Holy Spirit. To wake up, make them to where us come off of that house of the Holy Spirit. Forgive in Jesus' name. I beg make you forgive us in Jesus' name. And Father, please, whatever servants may be riding on our horses. Papa, I beg any kind of servant when they ride on top of our horse. Whatever servants are displays us, my Father and my God. Anything when we say servants, don't you say push us come up from our horse. From the high and exalted position that you, the Almighty God, plan for us to occupy. For that high position when we say you don't plan for us. Whatever these servants may be, Father, throw them off in Jesus. Whoever this servant may be, may you throw them come up from the horse in Jesus' name. Amen. Put us back in our normal position in Jesus' name. May you take us, go back for the our position where it's supposed to be in Jesus' name. Father, Papa, even as you restored me to yourself, even as you come bring me back, come to yourself. I beg of you tonight. I can't beg you this night. Every one of these your children. Every of these your children. Everyone who is sincere. Everyone who be say he get the right mind. Everyone who is saying, Lord. Give me just one more opportunity and I won't disappoint you again. Everyone when they text God say, I beg, give me this opportunity and I'm not going to fail you again. Father, restore them in Jesus' name. Papa, I beg, make you restore them in Jesus' name. Thank you, Daddy. Thank you, Papa. Thank you because I know you have heard. I thank you because you don't answer me. But we have prayed in Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' name we all pray. Amen. Amen. Now one more prayer. One more prayer. And this time you're going to stand if you don't mind. This time I beg me gonna stand if you don't mind. My brother said in his sermon, I'm, I'm sure you know it is true. My brother don't talk for when they preach, and I believe say you don't say that. That the kingdom of God suffered violence, and the violent have taken it by force. Say the kingdom of God don't suffer gragra, and I by gragra you can't take take him. I want you to pray with confidence. I believe God has heard you. I want when you pray, say you just sure, and I. I believe say God don't hear you. I believe he has restored. I believe say God don't bring you back to your position. But I want you to pray as violently, violently as you can. I want that you pray with Gaga. The way when you feel pray with Gaga. Against every servant that have taken over your kingdom. Against every servant when we say God seize your kingdom from your hand. And command in the mighty name of Jesus. I make you go say in the mighty name of Jesus to get off. Tell the devil to take off his hand. Say get out. Make you tell the devil. Let's make it take it yeah, yeah, and come out. Off your body. From your body. Off your ministry. From your ministry. Off your home. From your home. Everything that has been blocking your way. Everything when they block your way. Blocking your progress. When do they block your progress. Command in the name of Jesus. Then you command them in the name of Jesus. That they get out right now as we pray. Make Get out just like just now as I may pray in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, every sickness that I've been riding in your body, every sickness when they write for your body, poverty hindering your progress, every poverty when they say they stop your progress, hindering your ministry, when they stop your ministry, command in the name of Jesus. Then you command them in the name of Jesus. In the mighty name. Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, get away now. Get out now. Lose you. Make it lose you. I'll let you go. I make it let you go. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Every servant. Every servant. That are taking over. When they take over. Our position. Our position. Every demon. Every demon. Every sickness. Every sickness. Every disease. Every disease. Every hindering force. Every force when they hinder people. We command in the name of Jesus. I command you in the name of Jesus. To come down from the horses. Make you come down from that our horses. Take your position under our feet. Make you take your position under my feet. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Today. Today. 
It's a new beginning. A new beginning. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Every hindering force. Every force when they hinder me. We command you now. I command you now. Get out. Make you get out. You belong under our feet. Now under my feet you're supposed to do. You're not to rule over us. You're not supposed to do rule over me. You're not to ride us. You're not supposed to do ride me. We refuse for you to continue to ride over us. I don't agree again for you making continue to the ride over me. For we command you in the name of Jesus. Come down. I can't command you in the name of Jesus. Come down now. Sickness, come down from that horse. Sickness, make you come down now. From that horse. Poverty, come down from that horse. Poverty, make you come down now. From that horse. Sorrow, come down from that horse. Sorrow, make you come down now. From that horse. Failure, come down from that horse. Failure, make you come Come down now from that us in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, Ramashinde Ramakatande Ramakushanta. Mankurundi Ramakushetenda Ramakarunde Mokushanta. Nindra Makunde Ramakushinde Ramakatande. He Ramakushandre Ramakurunda Makatanda. Every hindering force. Every force when they injure me. We come against you in the mighty name of Jesus. I come against you in the mighty name of Jesus. Come down from the horse. Make you come down from the horse. Of this mighty children of God. From this mighty children of God. Today is the day of restoration. So come down. We come against you. Today is the day of restoration. So come down. Where I come against you. Oh. All you hindering forces. All you forces when they hinder people. Come down in the mighty name of Jesus. Come down in the mighty name of Jesus. Because the princes and princesses want to climb back and to decide. Because the boy and the girl picking of the king, they won't climb back on their horse. To the glory of God. To God's glory. Thank you, my Father. Thank you, my Father. Oh, blessed be your holy name, Lord. Oh, blessed be unto your holy name. Thank you for tonight. I thank you for this night. Thank you, Savior. Thank you, my Savior. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. I thank you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. Father. Father. Once again, I come before you on behalf of your children. Again, I don't come because of this, your children. And I thank you for a new beginning. And I don't thank you for the new beginning. Thank you because I know you're on our side now. I thank you because you're on our side this time. And because you're on our side, and because you're on our side, with boldness, with their heart, we command, we call command, every sickness that has been riding on us, every sickness when they ride on top of us, to get out in Jesus' name, get out in Jesus' name, every poverty that has been riding our lives, every poverty when they ride our life, riding our churches, when they ride our churches. Hindering our progress. When do they hinder our progress? We command, get out in Jesus' name. I command, make you get out in Jesus' name. Every demon that has been hindering us. Every demon, when do they hinder us? In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Get out in Jesus' name. Make you get out in Jesus' name. Servants, you belong under our feet. Servant, now under our feet, that you're supposed to do. We are the princes and princesses of the Almighty. We are the boy picking and the get picking of the king, the Almighty. Oh, yes, you had robbed us long enough. Now, true, say you don't tip from us for a long time. We want to get back on our horses. We won't enter our horse back again. Because there is work to be done for our king. Because what they won't go do for our king. And the time is short. And the time is small. So we decree as from today. We can't toss it from today. Sickness, you will remain under our feet. Sickness, now under our feet you will do. Poverty, you will remain under our feet. Poverty, now under our feet you will do. Failure, you will remain under our feet. Failure, now under our feet you will do. And this very day, this day, a new beginning will begin for us in Jesus' name. A new beginning will begin with us in Jesus' name. Thank you, Daddy. Thank you, Papa. Thank you because I believe it is done. Thank you because I believe say it all happened. For we pray in Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name we all pray.
Go ahead, give the Lord a big hand. Go ahead, continue to thank God. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Papa.